from Love Beautiful People and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very exciting vlog. I don't know when this vlog's gonna finish. It's probably gonna finish in like a couple of weeks time, but it is my boob job vlog. So I've just arrived in Sydney. Um, it is Saturday. I have my surgery on Monday. So we've got a few days in Sydney now just to chill. I'm gonna go see the surgeon right away now for our last consult. And then, yeah, it's all happening. I'm so excited, but I'm just gonna vlog as much as I can or I'm gonna get Mitch to vlog as much as he can. I'm just gonna be open and honest with you guys and yeah, share my journey basically. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I don't want you guys to think at all that you <laughs> need surgery. It's a personal preference. It's something I've wanted to do for years. Obviously, I know that I don't need it, but it's something that's gonna make me feel better in who I am. So I'm all for that and I'm very, very excited. Waiting. Driver's waiting. Shit, okay. We're gonna go to the driver's waiting, but yeah, we're just gonna film as much as we can and I hope it's interesting. Alright, so we're at the clinic and ready for my consult. Are you ready for your consult, babe? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm a big titties. Are you babies? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a really pretty consult clinic room. Hi, honey. Hey. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling like... I was a bit nervous before. I'm obviously nervous now, but um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm excited. Yeah, happy with the size and yeah, shape I'm you've happy. chosen. It was great to meet in person. We've only really spoken on like Skype and whatever. Um, it was good to actually meet him like in person and everything in person. But I'm happy with the shape. I'm happy with the size. Yay! I'm oh, cool. I'm gonna look ridiculous. You look like, like a I'm little cute old lady. Bar. Yeah. I've been the grandma bar for ages. Twelve weeks, wasn't look, it? Yeah, 12 weeks. I have to wear it for 12 just because of like the type that I'm getting is 12. Sometimes it's like 6 for a lot of people, but it's 12 for me. So. Did you want to tell them what you're getting? Like what size Should and stuff? Later. Yeah, okay. Good morning, guys. The 24 hour countdown is on. We are just um, out at breakfast at a little place in Bondi, just getting a bit of food, and then we're actually going to, you know, tan, but uh, we've got some issues with the weather today. Oh, it doesn't really look that bad right now. It's getting a little bit better, but it's really super cloudy and just like windy and not very nice. So we might go to icebergs, we might not. Um, I'm gonna go and get my nails taken off um, a little bit later. What else are we doing, Mitchy? Oh yeah, Mitch wants to go to the gym and then I'm just gonna do some work and stuff. And yeah, that's the day today. A very chill and relaxed day um, in the lead up to the surgery tomorrow. Admit you're going to have to get back to me in a second because I'm eating my treat. Explain to us some feelings, emotions. Do you want to try it? Nah. Really? You have it, hon. Look here. Look how happy she is. <laughs> oh, yeah. She never seems to surprise me. Like dressed up when I'm washing my hands. You look like you're doing the walk of shame. I am. Where are we going? Uh, in Bondi. So it's a really lovely big restaurant. This is so yummy, guys. It's a, um, what was it mentioned? Pomegranate? Pomegranate kombucha. I've never had that before. They usually get like different flavors for that. But we are at a really cute restaurant. It's called Eden and it's in Bondi. It's actually all plant based. Yum. So this is, it actually looks like a straight up spag bowl, hey? Yeah, everything goes. So everything goes. Everything looks normal when it's vegan. So this is the spaghetti bolognese. It's like got pesto sauce on it. it looks, oh my god, look at it. It actually smells like real parmesan too, which is insane. This was the cauliflower. Well, it looks like popcorn chicken. Popcorn cauliflower. Chibis, that was so good. And then you've got like a cheeseburger. Oh my god, hi. So we just got a uh, warm chocolate cake with some vanilla ice cream. That was pretty, really good. Yes, look how cute this place is. It's so cute. Obviously this place is on the app as well. It's a little hot spot in um, Bondi. Wow guys, it is the day of. I'm literally leaving the hotel room. We're getting picked up by the Uber in 20 minutes. I'm starting to like feel a little bit... Um, a little bit sick now to be honest just a little bit scared i was fine this morning i've just been busy all day doing things just replying to emails and like talking to my manager and stuff just about like other work things um because obviously i'm gonna have a bit of like time off work for a little while now because i'm gonna be recovering but yeah i was fine i got my hair braided as you can see 
feels so good to have it out of my face. I feel like that'll just be good for the surgery, but I was fine, but I'm starting to feel a little bit sick now. Like I think I'm shaking a little bit just because I'm about to leave. I'm just gonna have a really quick shower now because I probably won't be showering for like two days. So I'm gonna have a quick shower now and then um, just go straight onto the Uber. I've got my bag packed and my comfy clothes and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's all happening. It's really crazy. I am really confident. I'm confident and I'm excited and I kind of just want to, I sort of just want to wake up now and just be, well, I sort of just want to be back in this hotel room, um, like later on tonight. So yeah, I'm like stuck for words. I don't really get stuck for words very often, but I have a pimple on my lip. Um, it's really, really sore. I woke up this morning and was like, surely that's not what I need today. You know, there's like pimp lip pimples that get really sore. It's one of those ones, but Anyway, I'm also quite hungry as well because I could eat up until 9am this morning, but now I can't eat. So, yeah. So, I'm arriving at 4.15 at the surgery and then I don't know what time I'll actually go into surgery. Um, and then apparently they said to Mitch that he can pick me up at 8.30, but the little cutie, he wants to actually just wait there um, for me the whole time. So, he's just going to wait <laughs> at the surgery. I think he's going to bring his laptop and watch some Netflix and stuff. But, yeah, I am feeling a little bit sick, to be honest, but... I'm excited and yeah, it'll be all fine. So I'll see you guys soon. I'm going in. I'm freaking out now, guys. I'm fucking shitting my balls. <laughs> you take that. She's ready. You ready? I just left Tiles. Uh, well, I was kind of waiting there for an hour and a half, so I thought I'd get up and. Get moving. So Tiles is seeing is another hour and a half, so I'll waste some time here and then um, we'll go pick her up. Hopefully the surgery goes all good, which I'm sure I will. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hope this isn't too dark. Hope you can see my melon. Yeah, I think they can. Um, I just got a call from the medical center. They said come pick your, your little cat up from the vet. So I gotta come pick her up. Am I in the right place? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. Um, yes, so I'm hoping, I'm getting excited. Um, I'm hoping we rock out and she's all groggy and funny and you guys get to see her. She wants to be like pretty raw with all this stuff, so I doesn't get much rawer than coming out of a fucking boob surgery, so um, I'm so excited for her. She's wanted this for so long. Um, I'm just hoping everything goes all to plan, the sizing's all good, and she was a bit worried she was going a bit big, but nah, she'll be fine. <laughs> That's me saying that. Um, but yeah, we're here. Specialist Medical Centre. Alright guys, I'm excited. I'll, uh, I'll take you with me. We'll go see your chick. Okay guys, are you ready? <gasps> Baba. Baba. How are you? Good? <laughs> Alright, so that's all the scripts, some antibiotics yep. and painkillers. So cool. the chemist yeah, I just walked past it then and had Japanese in. Cool, I'll go do that. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Japanese? Right. Yeah. Mm. You look better than when I first just walked in. Do you do? I'll get this and I'll come back. Yeah, I'm slowly waking up. Have a little nap and I'll be back. Okay? Love you. Oh, did you not see that? What a cutie. I didn't even notice her boobs then. I was just like, oh, babe. Oh, that's cute as, so I got her scripts. Go and get her drugs. I don't get it. In Queensland, you have to have your license and it. What am I talking about? Dude, she was so cute. She was so tired. Oh, her tits look good. You can see that. I didn't notice them until like the end, but. Um, oh, she was so sleepy. I'll go get these. Uh, these meds, and then uh, I'll film some more when I get back. There she is, and some water bath. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah. You're not feeling too nauseous or anything? No, I don't feel nauseous, I'm just, just sleepy. Yeah, I feel like I'm just 
aches and pain because it was really tight when I breathed. It hurt. It was scary when I woke up though because I needed to cough. Oh, really? So I was like getting really freaked out and I had to cough. I needed to cough. Like, How did you go about it? Did you I, cough out your bum? They <laughs> like kind of just went me off. So it was just like, yeah, it was really hard. And I couldn't put my arms, I can't put my arms anywhere. I think I was just freaking out. I don't know how much it was in my head. But I mean, you look good, Bob. Do I? Mm -hmm. pamphlet you gave me, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, just write so you know how we're known that. Yeah, cool. Pam, so you remember. Otherwise, you'll be Yeah, cool. Thanks, so. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. No. Skirt! 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 Has anyone seen that uh, Tokyo Drift meme when they're in the elevator and then the dude in the wheelchair comes sliding around? Here's our driver. Good timing. I better put it down because it's got to help her out. Look who's home. She doesn't look thing, it's cute. Got a little package, came home to this little box. How cute. cute's that, eh? Really Do you want me to read it? Yeah. T Talia, from the one oh, team. Oh, I'm Okay, just yeah. go have a seat on the bed. Do you want some medicine? BRB team, how are you feeling? I'm alright. I'm a bit cold now, but air comes on. And get into bed. I haven't eaten anything since this morning, so I needed to get something in my stomach. And I'm ready to go to bed. Betty Byers? Where was I? I'm just going to quickly show them this. All the best in your recovery. Come in for a complimentary hydrofacial. It says 2.30, not tiles. Now this for me as well. Oh, it's got Mitch on it. Mitch and MT1 Cosmetic. How nice of them. Where's your stuff? Mm. I <laughs> nah, cute as. Let's put this girl to bed, eh? I've got an alarm set. I've got... Hold on. 2am and 6am. One endone, two paracetamol, ready to go. Excited for that? <laughs> okay, alright team. No. Oh, you want to snuggle? Tals hates sleeping on her back as well. Yeah, they will. Okay team, night. Hello. So it's the morning after surgery. Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm tired now. Yeah? I'm feeling good. I just um, got sick before because I got up and tried to look at my boobs. A little bit nauseous. Yeah, really very nauseous. But... Do you want to give him a little, little sneak peek? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, guys. Keep okay. watching. What do you want me to do now? Well, we need Panadol. So we got everything she needed last night except for some paracetamol, so... Mm -hmm. We had six here, luckily, but we need to go get some more because that already is gone. So we got to go do that and then... Yep. Maybe can you get me some food? Mm-hmm. Just a little nibbly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Go to the chemist and then get her some food. Because I haven't really eaten yet. I've eaten like... I gave you a toast this morning. A piece of toast. Yeah, I had half a piece of toast and then I had what I had. Chicken crimpies last night. <laughs> some shapes. Like ten shapes. Mm -hmm. So I should probably get something in my stomach. Yep. Okay. I'll go do that now. So I just left the apartment. I know the way to my girl's heart. So we got... Focus. We got ten nuggets. Two sweet and sour sauces, fries, and a sprint. Baba. 
Oh. I come bringing gifts. There you go. Nuggies and some fries. Of course, I got two. How are you feeling? Do you need some more ice? Yeah, it's all hot now. Do you want the aircon on or anything? Um, maybe for five minutes. A bit sleepy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I got you. Nuggies, ten pack of nuggies. Well, there's only nine now because I ate one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see it? Oh, so cute. Let's check the sunset. It's a bit smoky in Sydney, but it's still nice. You were sleeping beauty. The people. An update, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling pretty good this afternoon, hey? Yeah. So I just slept. Only times I feel really sick is when I jump up and like try and do things. I get really like, I get really hot and sweaty and dizzy mm. and sick. So I've done that twice today. Give me a little, no. give me a little look. No, <laughs> not yet. Um, no, I'll show them soon. Um, but yeah, it's just when I get up. When I'm laying in bed, I'm fine, hey? Yeah. Which is annoying because like, I when she gets up and needs to go to the toilet and oh, yeah. do a few things, a you get a bit nauseous and sweaty, hey? Yeah, and I get real hot, I'm like, oh, turn the air come on, turn the air come on. But um, when I'm laying in bed, I'm good. It's really weird though, I've been really itchy because I think the side effect of the endo makes yeah. you itchy. So like my back and like my chest has been like really itchy, my shoulders and stuff. So Mitch has to keep scratching it because I can't like put my arms too far back so I can't scrap, move that scrap, much. Scrap, scrap. <laughs> like I got you as my back scratcher. Yeah, but you're good, huh? Yeah, I'm good. Not in too much pain? No. Keep me on top of the medicine so it's good. Had a girl? The worst bit was still waking up in the surgery. The what? The worst bit was still waking up in the surgery. So far, anyway. I was fucked. Yeah. Did I tell them what happened? I don't remember what I talked about yesterday. Oh, I don't know, what are you going to say? Like, when I, was, when I woke up really cold. So I woke up in the surgery. Um, I woke up in the surgery twice. My face looked really hot. Oh, you look beautiful. Mm. Um, I woke up in the surgery and I was really cold. Like, absolutely fucking freezing. Like, freezing cold. And then, um, I like couldn't put my arms down by my side for some reason. They just like weren't going down by my side. And then I kind of freaked out and I was like trying to move it and trying to get warm and I needed to cough as well so I was trying to cough and then the lady ended up giving me like two needles injecting me with some stuff and then I just went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And then woke up and I was feeling a bit better after that. And you were good now? Mm-hmm. Looking after? Yes, yes. Boring days, are just bedridden. Mm -hmm. I went to the gym this morning and... You gonna go to the gym again tonight? I've got yeah. Uber Eats on the way, I've got some Thai. Pad Thai and you got yellow chicken curry. Yummy. Oh, they're probably thinking why I'm always wearing this yellow hoodie too. I thought Sydney was going to be boys. hot, but yeah. it's actually quite like cold, so this is all I've been wearing. The big yellow hoodie. Alright, I'm going to get up Uber Eats from downstairs. Let's a bit. Bye. Bye. Well, this is a terrible angle, but it's really heavy if I hold it any other way. Um, but we are just on our way to the post op appointment, so I am. How many days is it? Three days out. I had my surgery on Monday, late, very late afternoon, and it's now Thursday morning. This is my day three. Um, but yeah, we're going to the post-op appointment now to go see Dr. Vessels and the girls. And I'm feeling pretty good here, but it's being in this car is making me feel like really tight. It's making all my muscles like kind of clench up, and it doesn't feel very nice at all. But um, apart from that, I've been pretty good. Hey, really good. Pain's been good. Thanks to me. Thanks to Mitch giving me my medicine on time. I've been really good, just good. Yeah. I think it's just important to have your medicine on time and that way you could, like once you sort of let yourself go and your like temperature gets, gets out of control or your pain gets out of control, it's really hard to like get it back to normal again. So if you just keep taking your medicine, take your Panadol every four hours, then like you're fine. I had to share this with you guys because I just literally got the best delivery to my hotel room. So I got a massive big platinum breast augmentation box. So this is like the large one that they do, but they've got heaps of different different sizes. P.S. Have a look at my nails. 
like soak it up because that's literally the shortest and weirdest you'll ever see in my hands. I feel like a stumpy boy. I can't even deal with it. Anyway, um, uh, okay, so this is the care package I got from Relax and Recover. Basically, it's just like everything that I need post-surgery. Just thought I'd share it with you guys in case you are going into surgery because it's just so friggin' handy. I do have a discount code as well. What is it? Talia15 for 15% off. Plus, it's like there's not just breast recovery packs. There's packs for different um, surgeries and packs for different illnesses like PCOS and stuff. So, yeah, head over and check it out if you want to have a little look. I'm just going to show you quickly what um, is in there. There's a heap of ice packs. Obviously, that's just completely essential. And they've got these cool boob-shaped ice packs, which I thought was really fun. Um, and then I've got Gamifen soap. That's the medicated soap you've got to use. Um, wheat pack. Dry shampoo. That's actually so smart because I don't think I'm going to be washing my hair for it. A very long time. Um, Movicol sachet, so just heaps of stuff like that that I wouldn't think of getting as well. Stretch mark cream, vitamin E cream. There's like a couple of little goodies to just look after yourself, like um, a hair mask, face mask. What's that one? Um, a body scrub as well. So just some cute stuff to look after you. Um, the neck pillow. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a lot of sleeping. That'll be handy. And then this one, I haven't even taken it out yet, but it's one of those big, massive, like u-shaped pillows and it comes with a pillowcase as well so that's going to be really handy because you got to keep yourself like propped up for ages as well then bath wipes as well which will be good because look i'm probably not going to be showering very well and um yeah i think i'm going to be needing that one but wow i still can't deal with my fingers but yes anyway just thought i would share this pack because i think it's such a great idea it just means that you don't forget anything if you're having like a big life-changing um surgery like a boob job hi guys so I'm looking slightly more alive. Still terrible. How bad is my tan? Like my tan gone now? I've completely lost my natural tan. It's just Barley fully tan. gone. It doesn't last long. Yeah, it doesn't really last too long, does it? But anyway, it is one. Wait, can we turn the air cool down? I feel like that's really noisy for them. Um, it is one week post op, and I'm feeling so much better than I was. Holy shit! I've actually been doing pretty well overall, though. Hey. Yeah, she's healed so well. Yeah, she's I've healed so really well. well. I am going to show you guys a little snippet of my boobs soon, but I'm just going to give you a big update on everything that has been going on. So what I'm feeling right now is just like heaviness and pressure in my chest. It's really hard to explain, but I've got this like just a pressure in the middle. So it's pressure when I'm sitting up, pressure when I'm laying down. Can't really get comfortable at the moment, but that's sort of um, where I'm at. But the pain's gone. When did I stop having medications, Bob? Three days ago. He's been wonderful, by the way. <laughs> He's been really good. Thanks. <laughs> so I was Stopped having medicine. Pleasure. Pleasure looking after you. Oh, thank you. But yeah, three days ago, I think you saw. Three days ago. And everything like that. Oh, no, that was a bit longer ago. Sorry. Something like that. Anyway, but I probably had the strong medication for like constantly. Like, well, not constantly, but every four hours for three days, like, full-on hay mench, yep. do you reckon? And then after that, I just sort of weaned myself off it. And then I've just been having Panadol, but um, today I haven't had any any Panadol yet. This is my last day of having my antibiotics as well. Um, and, yeah, I'm just sort of, I'm getting, like, a lot more movement in my arms. Um, I can put my I hair up in a low ponytail now. I still have to pull her um, tights off when she wants to go to the toilet though. Oh yeah, he still has to pull my <laughs> tights off. I've been wearing like little bike shorts because that's what's comfy because it's just so hot at the moment. So yeah, you've been doing good at that on toilet duty. Well done, Bob. He said it's been training him for a child. <laughs> and I oh, said isn't that something the else past... you got to tell them? Oh, shut up. You're a dickhead. <laughs> the past eight years of my life have been training me up for a child, Bob. I have. Since I met you. Eight? Yeah. Seven? Seven. Has it been seven? Oh yeah, seven years, that's right. Yeah. Well, technically it has been eight, but anyway. So I'm doing really, really well, guys. So I had my post-op consult with Dr. Vessels, and he was really happy with how everything went. He was happy with um, the size. Oh, that's a big bump. Happy with the size and everything. Um, and yeah, we were just really, really happy about that. He is an absolute legend. I would have no hesitation in recommending him to anyone he really knows what he's doing um, he's actually South African and he's literally done his degree twice so he did his degree in South Africa and then have to come to Australia and do his whole degree again like his whole doctorate degree That's to become a surgeon so which is just like crazy so if that doesn't show that you have dedication and you know what you're talking about like I don't know what the hell does but yeah he's really wonderful and Chelsea and all the girls at One Cosmetic are really wonderful as well she just made it all so much easier such a good experience, I've, though. yeah such a good experience with them I've literally like I've been messaging her she's been checking up on me um, 
they had my post-op bras and like my post-op tape and everything ready to go after my surgery they gave it all to you and yeah it was just all really good like i got our surgery and mitch had already got my um prescriptions for my medicine and stuff and yeah it was just all really good it was a really good experience all round um now i do have quite a while because based on the shape of my um so now basically it's just recovery i'm just gonna try and stay um pretty low key for a bit hey i'm gonna try and be quite chilled i'm not very good at shutting up and doing nothing am i no. i get so bored but i can get around and do things now we're actually going out to breakfast of year too, like christmas christmas yeah. Festive season, everyone wants to drink and do stuff. Mm -hmm. But I honestly, like, wasn't mad about that because I feel like I've just been so busy this year that as bad as it is, I'm kind of happy that I missed, like, a lot of events. I swear I missed, like, 15 events last week and I was kind of when happy we about it. Sydney, yeah. yeah, when we were in Sydney, like, literally missed everything. It has been a pretty good time of the year and just being at home with fam and stuff is nice around Christmas. Yeah, that's, that's all you true. really do anyway, that's hey. What so Christmas is about, eh? Not that's getting what lit, Christmas just for is the about. Family. Yes. <laughs> In saying that, I think I am going to Mitch's graduation this Friday. So that'll be my first time out and about. Hey. Woo! And then um, the Jagger party as well. That's having a little Christmas party with a couple of close friends. So that'll be nice. Um, I'll probably go to that for a couple of hours until I get tired and have to go home um, because I won't be obviously wearing my post opera then but um, Dr. Vessel said if I'm feeling okay it's alright to have it off for a few hours and just go home and put it on but I've not taken it off the whole time. Their post op bras are so good. They're so comfortable and they look so nice hey like compared to yeah, other ones yeah. like well, you see some, some i saw some chick today on instagram yeah on YouTube, we were watching yeah and i was like what are that bra it looks like a grandma yeah thing, like but real horrible the but one these ones part, are good like, the materials like the material is much better and it's just nice but yeah so everything is good i'm happy with it all so far i'm going to give you guys another update in probably a couple of weeks time so it has been one week now and then i don't know probably what give them a three week update and stuff might do another vlog just like a day in life so Thank keep an eye out and make sure you subscribe to my channel um for those ones and i would probably just like start talking about it in my vlogs and stuff and update you guys on the journey but thank you for all the support it's been so nice i've had so many nice messages and yeah it's just been really really great and it's also been great are you oh, okay how annoying is it when you drop your keys down the side oh of you? yeah bloody hell <laughs> um it has been really nice to see that i've helped a lot of people as well i've been talking to probably like maybe six girls who had their surgery within like a day a part of me and that's been really nice to like hear their experiences everyone has really different experiences and stuff so obviously i said it before i'm going to say it again do your research and know the risks with any surgery you go into there's always risks so you have to know the risks and um i've been really happy with how mine is oh my god i can't even talk anymore because i'm like resting my arm on here to hold up the camera and it is so heavy because i've not been it? doing anything no nah, it's all right it's all good i'm gonna wrap it up now anyway but thank wrap you for her asking up. yes we are gonna wrap it up i was just trying to think if there's anything else oh. <laughs> i don't think i really do have anything else to say to you guys i am going to show you a little video of the boobs so far right now because that's obviously Woo! what you guys are all we wanting. Want to say. <laughs> um, but I will give you more updates soon. But yeah, I'm really happy with how they are. Um, swelling is going to go down. They're sitting up like um, a bit high at the moment, but then they sort of drop down and like mold into like actual real boob looking shapes. Well, how do you explain it? Hey, just mold in the eye, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, mine are really natural looking, and I'm really really happy with. Um, what they are but thank you very much to one cosmetic and dr ah. wessels and all the team there you were really fabulous and made my experience a lot better i got it oh you got it yep. well done congrats wrap her up well we're gonna go because we're gonna go do some shopping quickly and um eat this is actually my first time out of um house arrest so it will be nice to get out of the house i look like absolute shit but anyway oh thanks bub <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this vlog wasn't too alarming. It was probably... I haven't edited it yet, so I'm kind of scared to go back and look at the footage. I really don't really remember too much of it just because of the medication. But, um, yeah, I hope it was insightful and, yeah, enjoy. I promise I won't look this ridiculous in my next videos. Bye, guys.